Hello friends, welcome to my channel Language and Life Skills. I am Matthew Atukani. Today's presentation is God and Humanity or COVID. Make your choice. It is not just a question of getting vaccinated. It is time also for making certain important choices and decisions, basic choices. And there is no luxury of time for this. Either choose God and humanity or succumb to COVID, the new master. And this is not an individual decision but a collective one for humanity. If you don't, you will sink like the Titanic. COVID is a mythical hydra. There's multiple heads. It has got nine heads. When you cut off one head, another head comes up. And even the old head goes on growing. And so, when you have vaccine for one variety of COVID, one strain of COVID, another new strain comes up. All double strains come up, changing from form to form. And COVID is gleefully gathering heads like a headhunter. And in a country like India, the government is shy of telling us the real numbers. Friends, COVID is not a mere medical problem, it is a spiritual problem. It is a spiritual rot, a spiritual chaos. And it won't pike its backs and disappear easily unless humanity makes a course correction. COVID is a result of a bag of spiritual disorders. First of them is rejection of God. Modern man has rejected God. It is not that he become atheist, he has got a new God. Who is that God? His own self. He is worshipping himself. Like Prometheus, he has rebelled against God and erected his own statue. Man glorifies his achievements, his feats, as his inventions and he challenges God. And he forgets all this is possible with his brain. God-given brain. It is God's gift to you. Man has become like a passenger aircraft, which does not want to have communication with ground control. And you know what will be the disastrous consequences of such an aircraft. We are living in a greed-driven world. The aim of today's business is not profit, but profiteering, making enormous profits. And even in desperate times like COVID-19, the billionaires have increased their assets. They have boosted their wealth. The banking system has sick and weak. It is a victim of huge loan sharks and defaulters and corporate frauds. Shameful to say, even private hospitals have exploited the COVID situation to charge exorbitant fees, hospital bed fees, doctor's fees, medical bills. You might have noticed in the recent times a phenomenon called dynamic pricing. Dynamic pricing of air tickets, plane tickets of uh, luxury buses. At the time of calamities, emergencies and big rush, prices are just jacked up. And the justification is that there is high demand, so you can have high charges, extract a pound of fresh. Today, we are witnessing a commodification of human lives. Humans have become commodities and raw material for certain stinking businesses like pornography, trafficking of women and girls, 
drug business. So, we are using others for our pleasure. The image of God that each one of us carries has got brutalized and it is torn to shreds without pity. Another current phenomenon is the reckless exploitation of earth's resources. They do not thought about the future, about the future generation and their needs. Very heavy deforestation going on in many countries, especially in the Amazon with the heavy depletion of flora and fauna. And humans are encroaching on animal territory and they hit back by encroaching on our space. As a result of this, there is a devastating climate change with extremely hot temperatures, storms, heat waves, floods, forest fires. And because of close proximity between animals and humans, there is a virus species jump from animals to man. And those who are asymptomatic themselves become carriers of deadly viruses. When it comes to family life, there are reckless abortions, millions of them done in so many countries. In most parts of the world, women can get abortion on demand. What are the reasons given for these abortions? Some of them are Childbirth may be a danger to the woman's life or health. A child may be an economic burden. A child becomes an inconvenience, becomes a botheration. Some even consider pregnancy and childbirth as a feminine sickness. Women today claim absolute rights over their body. Who is actually the owner of their body or, or of any of us? It is God who is the owner and daughter of our bodies. We are just managers of our bodies for this earthly life. But women have decided that they are superior to the unborn child. They have more rights than the unborn. And they can carry out their will because they are more powerful. And the unborn baby is a captive in the woman's womb. A culture that favors the strong against the weak and defenseless is a regressive one. Dear friends, what are the fallouts of this global pandemic? First one, all of us, we know, stay home. Don't move out. You are like under house arrest, under home detention. Especially women have a tough time doing their home chores as well as office work. And with children staying home, it is all the more difficult for them, all the more challenging. There are more marital fights and violence and sexual violence against children. It is as if you are in a locked up room or in a maroon island far from far away from the shore. COVID-19 has struck a body blow to tourism and holiday. Tourism is one of the big drivers of modern business. But all tourist spots and Sundays are closed. So many people are unemployed. Today tourist spots look like exhibition grounds after an exhibition or, or after a fair. And if you are working abroad, you can't even come home because of flight disruption. Above all your friends, today we are living a robotized and emotional uh, deprived life. Emotional masking up. We had to forget our social emotions and behave like robots. Don't meet people, shun people, keep social distance from them as you do from high voltage wires or garbage. Avoid touch, avoid cuddling, 
avoid patting, no handshakes, no hugs, no embraces, not even holding hands or a peck on the cheek. In short, become a robot and make up, mask up your emotions. Along with artificial intelligence today, we also have to live artificial lives. If you are not willing to learn, COVID will teach you very hard lessons of life. In short, we have all joined the rat race for hospital beds, oxygen cylinders, ventilators, essential medicines. Why? We have to give up even for cremations and burials. In conclusion, could we be humble enough and honest enough to acknowledge our need for God, our dependence on Him as the source of our lives and rectify our vision of God's image in our fellow humans. If you enjoyed this video, if you like the video, please subscribe. So bye, till the next time.